So, how to clear your acne in one week? Is your acne going to disappear in one week? I don't know. But I will tell you how I personally got rid of my acne in one week. Hey my loves, welcome back. My name is Grace and my channel's name is Grace Ling. If you are seeing me for the first time, you are welcome. So today's video, I'm going to share with you how I was able to get my face from looking like this to looking like this in one week. And yes, you can clear your acne in one week. I personally did it and you can do it as well let's jump right into the video so my acne basically started one morning i woke up and my face was inflamed i saw pink marks around my nose and i was like what is going on i literally thought it was ovulation pimples because you know how that pimple can be ovulation pimples are like the boss of them all but it turns out it wasn't ovulation pimples i refused to touch my face i refused to poke them i just left them alone and in two three days i could see white heads all over my face they had pus all over them my face was painful and i knew at that moment that i had to do something about it in less than a week my face was like this and i'm not even exaggerating i'm not trying to make this video super interesting this was literally my face and my friends who were with me around that time can testify to the fact that in one week my face was messed up so what did i do to clear my face that's what i'm going to share with you in this video when it comes to skincare there are three major steps for your daytime routine you have you have to cleanse you moisturize and you apply sunscreen when it comes to nighttime routine you cleanse you tone and you moisturize three major steps every other thing is extra in my opinion so the first thing i did as somebody who was going through stuff was research i went online and i realized that the kind of acne that was coming this particular time was called cystic acne and cystic acne is one of the most annoying and most irritating ones if not treated properly so the first thing i did was take off every single product i was using as at that time because it was not working I dropped my cleansers, I dropped scrubs, I dropped every single thing. One thing I learned about cystic acne is the fact that you have to reduce the amount of irritation on your face. You can't just use anything that has BHAs, AHAs. These are heavy acids to use on your face. The less irritation, less manipulation. Change my cleanser. I'm not going to mention the cleanser I was using before the acne started. But I'll mention the cleanser I used when I was trying to get rid of them. First cleanser I'm going to talk about is Simple. It has no active ingredients. It just cleanses your face and that is it. And so I got the Simple Cleanser and I started using that. The Simple Cleanser currently retails for 3,600 Naira, which is about this in dollar and this in CDs. Another option is Cetaphil. It's very simple. It has no, no crazy additives in it. It's a very simple cleanser that will not cause you irritation. So the next thing I did was cleanse my face for 45 to 60 seconds. There were times when I could basically not clean my face for 60 seconds because I was not in the mood, but I made sure to cleanse my face for 45 seconds and dab my face dry. Now, after cleansing your face, when it comes to acne, you have to treat the acne because it's not going to go away. Now, the best, in my opinion, acne treatment on the market is none other than the acne.org's benzoyl peroxide. This, for me, it was the gate changer. This took my face from looking like this to looking basically like what it looks today because the pimples be trying to come back. They be trying to come back. Okay. So when I'm out of the bathroom, I dab my face dry and I sit down for 15 minutes. I literally would type, I'll pick up my phone and I would time it. I would apply the acne.org benzoyl peroxide on my face. So I started with the tip of my, just the top here, and I would take a bit and I would put around the areas that were actually affected. And I would allow my face to dry and I would go to bed. Based on the instructions on the website, you're supposed to moisturize your face afterwards, but that's not what I did. In the morning, I'll cleanse my face and then I will not treat my face and then I'll moisturize because I did not have SPF like sunscreen then for some reason i don't know why i did that but what i did was i'll just cleanse my face moisturize it and go out do the business of the day and then come back home cleanse my face dab it dry and then treat so i only treated my face in the night and i did not treat my face during the day because benzoyl peroxide and sunlight don't really roll well so i did not want to try that basically that was how i treated my acne 
and in one week in one week this thing had roasted the pimples like when it when it when it came to like the pimples itself they were gone they were dried out but then it led to me treating the, the acne scars which was like which is going to be a different video in its own i could notice that this pimple has started drying up and i could see lights at the end of the tunnel another thing i made sure not to do is put on makeup i know that this may not be very um sustainable for a lot of people if it's possible to try to stay away from makeup by all means please do one technique i promise if you try it will work if you go about it for a week you will definitely see a difference in the look of your pimples it you will definitely see a difference in your appearance in general but at the end of the day your body is different from mine mine is different from yours so these products may not work for you but you never know until you try them in terms of moisturizers i honestly wouldn't recommend the moisturizer i used because it wasn't the best but if there's one moisturizer i think you should try would be the cosarex light lotion moisturizer it's a very light moisturizer it doesn't have any active ingredients this is my face in week one and this is my face in week two this is my face week three and this is my face as at this morning filming this video you can see a whole difference try this method and see if it works for you if it works for you please come back to this video because i know it's going to work come back to this video and leave a comment in the comment section i would like to know others who have dealt with cystic acne how were you able to manage it what products did you use leave them in the comment section and let's start a conversation you can help your sister out and vice versa thank you so much for tuning in today don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye guys